Good evening, alumni and friends. My name is Valerie Kaiser, Alumni Relations Officer here at Western Michigan University. I am here at the Gilmore House, and inside we have a treat. Inside we have alumnus Terry Olson and WMU President Dr. Montgomery. They will be walking through a mixology experience for you. WMU alumnus Terry Olson was a student athlete and a 1982 graduate here at Western Michigan University. But most recently, he is the CEO and founder of Zim's Vodka. Tonight, they will be using Zim's Vodka as the feature for the recipes that they have shared tonight for the experience. You don't want to miss it. Let's go inside. Thank you. Terry Olson here. Great to be back in Kalamazoo with the uh, Alumni Spirit Week going on. Uh, we're going to make some great cocktails for you here this afternoon and a couple of guests and very uh, popular. Ed Montgomery, president of Western Michigan University. I'm glad to be here with you today. Thanks, Ed. Great to see you. Bruce Carroll. Hi, everybody. I'm happy to be here. Three happy guys. We're going to make some <laughs> great drinks. We're going to make a couple alcoholic cocktails. We're going to make a mocktail that Dr. Montgomery is going to uh, grace us with. I'm sure he's going to make a great <laughs> one. And we're going to get started right now with Bruce, who's going to start out with a very popular drink. Uh, across the country, and especially this time of the year, we call it the Zim's Transfusion cocktail. Right. I can't tell you it's healthy, but it sure tastes good. It sounds good to sure me. Good. So. <laughs> so look, it, it is a great cocktail, by the way. So what we're going to start out with is our Zim's Polish Potato Vodka, produced in a 250-year-old distillery. Uh, and by the way, for the uh, students at uh, Alumni Weeks, uh, Zim's is short for Zimniak, the Polish word for potato. So what we're going to do is we're going to take uh, two and a half ounces, in deference to the students, <laughs> of Zim's Polish Potato Vodka, and then we're going to take some Concord grape juice. It's important to use Concord grape juice, a couple of ounces of that, and then we're going to use just a little bit of fresh squeezed lime juice. Now, I want to emphasize how important it is to use fresh squeeze. It really makes all the difference. Trust me, okay. uh, President, you're going to love this. So we're going to shake this up a little. And uh, since the microphone's on my right, we don't want to blow anybody's ears up. But we're going to shake that up a little. And then we're going to add some ginger ale to this cocktail. And we're not going to shake it because of the fizz. But what we are going to do is pour this, and you can see it is a really bright, rich red color to it. And then we're going to garnish it with some lime. And then, just as an added touch, we've got some Concord grapes here, which makes a nice presentation. And, uh, President? Cherry. Uh, and you know what they say? They don't say cheers in Poland. They say salute. 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 To the Broncos. The Broncos. Wow. And that's basically how you make the Zim's vodka transfusion. So tell me, what made you go into the vodka business? My wife. <laughs> uh, back, back in 2010, doctor, uh, I decided to start a second career after uh, selling my first business and retiring at the age of 40, uh, thanks to my wonderful degree from Western Michigan. <laughs> uh, so, uh, go Broncos, and uh, you know, the business school was very good to me. So I decided to start a vodka company, spirits company, mm -hmm. and the name of my company is the Rebel Spirits Group. And Zim's Vodka is our first brand. We're a very high-end, ultra-premium mm -hmm. vodka. I decided to make it in Poland because I think that's where some of the best vodka in the world comes from. Absolutely. Um, Bruce and I jumped on a plane. We spent uh, eight or nine days in Poland touring the country, fell in love with a 250-year-old distillery. I met the farmers where I buy my potatoes. Wow. And, and it was exciting. And you know when something just feels right? Uh -huh. Like when you met your wife or, you know, you had your first child, all those things just make you feel good. We felt good about doing business with people in Poland. We ship all over the world. It's an exciting business. It's great to walk into a restaurant or bar and see your product up there against yep. these giants, right? 
And they don't like to see us there because <laughs> they're going, who are these little guys? Where did they come from? And they're taking space from us. But that's they, what we do. They're Broncos. That's we're, the key, we're Broncos. Right? That's exactly Well, you know, right. the other thing that really differentiates Zim's from the other brands is the fact that it's made with potatoes. In fact, it takes eight pounds of potatoes to make one-fifth of Zim's vodka, and that's eight pounds of potatoes right there. Yeah. So that's what really makes it so creamy and smooth. But because it's made with potatoes, it makes it truly gluten-free, which a lot of people are gravitating huh. to a gluten-free lifestyle. Right. But it's also GMO-free because Poland's one of only a handful of countries that have rejected GMOs in their food production. Plus, it's kosher and organic. So when Terry created this, he's really checked all the boxes and therefore people are enjoying the product. We're going to start with our next drink, Doctor, and rightly so, the Polish Bronco. All right. All right. The <laughs> like first that. Polish Bronco <laughs> ever. Right. We and we're going to make it here today. So Bruce, without further ado, let's go. Here we go. This is, this is great. So we are going to use our, again, Zim's 81 proof vodka, and uh, we'll throw a shot in there. And next, we are going to do some, again, fresh squeezed lime juice. And uh, next, we are going to use ginger beer. Now, for this purpose, we don't want to shake this up, but we want to stir it so we can meld all those flavors together. I'm going to garnish with a piece of fresh lime. And what's interesting is you'll also notice that the outside of these stainless steel mugs that Terry had prepared are going to actually change in color. So I'm going to leave this oh. with you. Give me, that one. Give me the big yes. one, huh? Well, that's right. And Nostrovia. Nostrovia. <laughs> yeah, see how it's changing the mug? It is. It's starting to freeze up a little uh -huh. bit. Yeah. And I think what's important for our audience today is, while it looks like Bruce is just pouring stuff into a glass, everything's really about measurement right. and time. You, you can overkill a drink with the alcohol or with the ingredients that you're using. Ooh, and, and again, we good. can't urge enough, but always use fresh ingredients. Fresh ingredients. Right. Now, you mentioned 81 proof. Do you make a less, uh, lower proof uh, vodka as well? Uh, well, so the 81 proof, you know, most vodkas, doctor, are 80 proof. Okay. We went with 81. 81. Right. We're one better. Right? <laughs> that, 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 was, that was part of the marketing plan right. that Dr. Coral, God rest his soul, right. Right, taught me back here uh, when I was on campus, believe it or not. And they loved the 81, but they said it was still strong. Okay. Like most vodkas. Yeah. And I said, well, what if I make something with 25% less alcohol, which will have 25% less carbs. Right? And calories. And calories. calories. And so we tried it. And it's fantastic. You don't want to be overpowered by the vodka. You just want to enjoy the taste. <laughs> so at the end of the day, this is how you produce the Polish Bronco. And uh, again, thank you for uh, hosting us. This has been fantastic. Thank you. Great. We're excited for our third cocktail of the day, a mocktail. And I think you're all going to love this. It's a cucumber, basil, and citrus drink that our very own doctor is going to prepare for us today. All right. What better thing to do during Spirit I, Week, exactly. huh? Exactly. <laughs> but I'm Can I get a rim shot here? Yeah. I didn't know you were a doctor of mixology. There you go. <laughs> so we're making the cucumber, basil, and citrus mocktail. So the first thing we need to start with is some fresh squeezed blood orange juice, which is a combination of orange juice and blood orange. So why don't you take that and pour some into that shaker, please. And so the next ingredient we're going to use the is... The whole thing. That's, that's perfect. Yeah, there Beautiful. You go. So the next ingredient we're going to use is some freshly cut cucumbers. So why don't you throw a couple scoops in there. And of course, as we uh, indicated earlier, we cut this up just for expediency purposes. And then again, emphasizing everything needs to be fresh. So we've got some fresh basil here. So why don't you 
put that into the shaker as well. All right. This looks fantastic. And now comes the hard part with the muddler. I'm going to muddle through. <laughs> you're going to muddle through. You're going to muddle right through it. So you're going to muddle that for, for, for purposes of extracting all the oils and the flavor from that basil as well as the cucumber, because again, it's the cucumber, basil, citrus mocktail. And again, there's no Zim's vodka in this particular um, cocktail, or mocktail, I should say. So we've done that. Great job, Doctor. Right. And then now what we're going to do is we are going to add some of our sparkling water. We used um, San Pellegrino, yeah. right. which is a great brand. And we'll fill that up, you know, close to the top. And then, of course, rather than shaking it because we don't want this to go everywhere. We don't want you to wear it. We want you to enjoy it. Um, we just have you stir that a little bit here. Okay. And then just add that uh, snugly, put the, the cap back on. All right, this is the, the moment of truth. This is the moment of truth, and I know that you've measured accurately. And, and again, we're using our clear ice cubes, functional. It keeps the drink colder longer. And um, again, it's from an, from an optics perspective, it just looks beautiful. So take that uh, top off, and we'll just pour those, uh, that mocktail. And you can see we've got some of that fresh basil in there, which is great. And the most important thing we want to do is, again, you've extracted those oils and flavors from the cucumber and the, um, and the fresh basil. So without uh, further ado, wow. um, Doc, here, here's to Spirit Week and to being a Bronco. All right. Zim's vodka. Cheers. Zim's vodka. <laughs> Cheers. Thank you for, for doing this uh, and showing us what uh, Broncos can do, and uh, I look forward to particularly trying the Polish Bronco uh, <laughs> again. <laughs> I, think, I think you'll enjoy them all. And to all our alumni out there, uh, please visit us at zimsvodka.com. Uh, send us a note if you'd like the recipes. We can get those out to you as well. Um, I think you'll enjoy all of our products and, and the experience. And uh, go Broncos. Go yeah. Broncos. Right? Thank you. Here's the Bronco Nation. There you go. Nostrovia. Nostrovia.